Hi to the parents and my dear students. Uh, today in this product based company series, uh, we are going to talk about the Google. Okay, Google uh, is actually as of July 2024 is worth of 2.2 uh, 2.4 trillion. It is one of the most prestigious companies around the world and uh, still it is a, a dream company of many of the computer science or uh, developer aspirants. Uh, so before moving on, let us talk about the overview of this company. It was started by Larry Page in the year of 1998 and the parent company of this uh, Google is Alphabet. Uh, the key products that Google is having is Google, Google search that we all are using. Uh, Android, we have Google Cloud and Chrome. So uh, as we know, the CEO, is, uh, CEO of Google is our own Sundar Pichai. Moving on, the opportunities we are having at Google. So actually what, uh, what happens at Google, no? Google will divide the roles into uh, L, L systems. So basically starting with L2. L2 is the most basic role available at Google. In L2 we have uh, GSOC which is Google Summer of Code. Uh, in this GSOC we, they won't uh, like, they will hire you during summer and as a student, you are supposed to work directly on the companies, the product based companies, you will be working on the real companies. Okay. And then we have Google step program. Uh, this is another internship program provided by Google. And we have the another another few interns are there. So uh, later on L2 after L2, we have L3. In L3, we have the entry level software engineers that is immediately after the graduation you are going to join the Google as an L3. Then after L3 comes L4. L4 is like you will need at least 3-4 uh, years of experience and most of the SD2 software engineer 2 roles will lie in L4. L3 is like SD1 as software engineers. So we are like we as a students uh, uh, we will be targeting more on L2 and L3 roles. After that, L4 roles and L5 roles, they will be uh, looking for more experience and more, they will be asking some other things other than like, uh, they will be asking questions from system designs and something else. Okay, uh, talking about L5 and L6 is uh, uh, senior software engineers, staff engineers. Uh, those actually for becoming those, you need uh, experience of around seven years, eight years. And later on, after L8 onwards, Google will be doing the internal upgradation. Like those who are working already at Google, only those people will be getting promoted to these roles. Uh, moving about the process, how actually the process of the interview is there at the Google. So basically, at the very first level, the beginning level, you are going to apply. After the application, the most important process of the uh, interview process uh, of the whole process is the resume screening. It is actually not that easy to get your resume screened at Google. But once your resume is screened, later on the recruiter will obviously re recruiter will uh, schedule a call and then you are going to have a phone screen. Uh, you can have one uh, or multi many phone screens. Mostly there is one simple phone screen. After the completion of the phone screen round, there will be a on-site interviews or maybe uh, like after COVID, they have started to take online interviews also. And uh, once step four is done, like once you have completed the on-site interviews, the most of the interview portion is over. And then let later on at step five, we have behavioral question. The Google will call it Googliness. The Googliness round is like, uh, they will be asking you questions like situation based question. If something like this will happen in the company, how will you react and things like that. And then once the Googliness round is clear, you are part of the Google. Moving on. How to prepare for the Google? See, Google is one of the most prestigious companies in the world. They are going to pay you very competitive, where there are very few companies, players out there who are willing to pay equal to Google. And uh, actually, like reputation wise, also it's very high. And it is still the dream company of many out there. So the very most important thing before moving, like before applying for the Google or before appearing for the interview of the Google is the DSA. You should have very, very strong DSA. 
DSA is data structures and algorithm. You should have very strong hand on graphs, data, uh, dynamic programming, advanced like advanced algorithms uh, will be there. They won't be asking you basic questions on arrays and strings. They will be directly jumping on graphs and dynamic programming. Okay. Uh, once you are like uh, other than that, uh, your code should be very efficient. Efficient means your code should be faster than your competitor's code or your code should be working at the fastest possible complexity. And other than that, it should be readable. What does readable means? That your code should be uh, like if you're writing some code, the other person should be able to understand your code. What actually your code is doing, what variable is uh, doing what. So your code should be readable means variables and the function name should be uh, written properly. And this uh, actually is one, I will say, unique feature of Google is that they will provide, they will conduct the whole interview process on the whiteboard. What happens, what does whiteboard means? Whiteboard means you, they will not provide you any compiler, they will not provide you any IDE, they will not even provide you the test cases. All you are supposed to do during the interview process is, uh, basically what they will do, they will provide you a very uh, like descriptive, uh, a small description of the question. So it is you as a candidate whose job is to get the full question and it's your job to get the test cases also and you should write the code as accurate as possible. What will happen, you know, after the interview is completed, the interviewer is going to copy your code, paste it in some ID and directly submit it. And if it is submitted, your code is code has accepted, else it has been rejected. So Google is one of the uh, like Google is having this uh, very unique uh, feature called whiteboard interview they will have. Okay, it, later on for preparing for making your data structure and algorithms very strong, you should be uh, following any of these platforms like lead code we are having, we are having code chef, code forces, at coder, uh, top coder, hacker rank, geeks for geek, CSES like there are many, these are few standard uh, standard companies. They will be having these standard questions. Uh, there are many other than these, okay? And then at the same time, during your college time, when you are in second year or maybe in third year, you should parallelly be preparing for this contest called ACM ICPC. ACM ICPC is one of the most, uh, uh, it is like you can say Olympiad of computing during college, during graduate level. So ACM ICPC, if you are uh, preparing for the ACM ICPC, while preparing for this contest, you will automatically be preparing for the Google itself. Okay. And uh, you should be very habitual and you should be uh, frequently participating in the coding contests by any of these uh, platforms like lead code will have its own contest, code Chef will have its own contest, code forces will have its own contest. So you should be actively participating in these contests. Along with these contests, you should also be participating in some uh, hackathons. Okay, then uh, if you are having uh, some senior member that uh, like you should uh, also have mock interviews in between if you're, uh, you are having some connections. Okay. Talking about the books, these are few of the most standard books which uh, most of the time people will prefer, uh, will refer to these books. One of the book is Introduction to Algorithms by Corman that is known as the Bible of the Computer Science. This is the most important book and they say this is the Bible of the whole computer science. You will find this book really interesting, very well written by the Corman from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Okay. And then next, uh, next book is Computative Programming by Halims. This is also one very nice book. And then we have, have we are having Computative Programming by uh, Laksonen. So these were few books using which you can prepare for your DSA, which will be later on asked in these interviews like Google. Okay. Now the next point is how actually we at ACE are going to help in, uh, in the preparation of these product based companies. So basically uh, we are having this ACE finishing school. At ACE finishing school we have this Arjuna program. In the Arjuna program what we do, we are like we are having very uh, well like uh, well uh, experienced and uh, nice faculties from IITs, we have faculties from triple ITs, they will be training you on, uh, they will be doing this course, uh, uh, competitive programming along with you in the Arjuna program. 
then we are having vihan program in vihan program you will actually be working on some of the technologies okay you will be taught about uh, how the actually is full stack development is done how merge stack development is done in uh, vihan then we are having kalam kalam is for soft skills soft skills means how you can improve your communication skills how you can improve your aptitude all these are parts of kalam okay other than that uh, why you should choose ace is the collaborate uh, collaborations we are having we are having collaborations with this uh, with these very private giants uh, one of them is being zero being zero uh, is a company uh, by sandeep bansal sir sandeep bansal himself will be coming to our is nowadays coming to our institution for training our students so we are having collaborations with the uh, being zero uh, then we are having collaboration with the smart interviews smart interviews is again a key player they will be training the students in dsa okay then we are having talent ceo talent ceo is uh, we are using their platform for every lab we are having all the labs will be using this talent ceo pro talent ceo platform and then for the startups we are having uh, collaboration with the foundations lab so that's why uh, uh, that's how we do at ace and other than that we are having this butterfly program in this butterfly butterfly program we are actually training the students based on uh, the year in which they are uh, we are having uh, all these uh, programs designed according to the current years and starting from the first year till the final year we are doing it parallelly for each and every students for example in first year we will be introducing them to the competitive programming in c and python in the second year we will be doing the competitive programming a little more advanced with java and then in third year we are having some uh, certifications also involved like aws certifications cisco certifications and eventually at the final year when you are like uh, when the placement session is about to get started then we are having this company specific training and along with that we will have the mock interviews also so mock interviews is again company specific and all these are actually done by our professionals here at ace uh, then we are having many programs for internships and we are having many program for job fairs so that's why i think you should uh, you should come and join ace engineering college all the best thank you